Hello and welcome to my tarot corner. So I couldn't, uh, I couldn't not hear what Megan said in her past podcast about her children. And it seems to me that she is, uh, and once again, I am treating this issue as if they do have children under their care. You know, I know that many of you don't believe that, but in this instance, I uh, am going to uh, treat this question as if they have children under their care. Those children don't have to be hers. Uh, DNA, uh, from, not DNA-wise, uh, not, uh, not that she carried them-wise. And but uh, I'm treating this question as if they do have DNA now. In her last podcast, she said that she needs to change her parenting strategies, and we've been hearing her in podcasts and in interviews talking about the way that she is bringing up Archie as a very polite young man, someone who needs to realize that manners, 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 manners. And I am thinking to myself, this poor three-year-old uh, is, doesn't really understand uh, the world doesn't understand what manners are, but he is being pumped with these uh, buzzwords uh, all the time. I mean, this could make every child uh, crazy. So I'm going to look into the way that Megan is parenting her children. I'm not looking into Harry. And I am just modifying this uh, reading a little bit because I really want to look into the things that she is doing, uh, not looking into the good things that she's doing. I'm going to look into what she's doing wrong. And uh, this could be swayed, but uh, I'm taking to, into granted that she, uh, if she does have those children, she, is, she loves them. And whether or not she shows them that she loves them, I don't know. But I am taking that as if this is one thing that I'm not trying to dispute. And I am not trying to find out how to help her. I'm going to look at how to help those children or if it is even possible to help those children. So this is the Kitty Corn Tarot. A nice childish kit, kitten uh, deck, so felt that it's a, a good thing to f use this. And I received the season of the witch, the Yule Oracle, which is the winter oracle. And actually, the, just the, the, the woman on this, uh, the, the drawing of the woman here even reminds me of her. And uh, you know, winter uh, has started in many places in the world. Here, it's not yet, but uh, we do have rain a little bit. So uh, we are going into winter. So uh, I said I would use this one today. Okay, so let's start by clearing the deck, saying my disclaimer. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It's open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation, and as such, may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. Okay, so clearing the deck, one, just a little bit more. Okay, so Megan's parenting. Uh, skills. What are her parenting skills towards each of her children? What do the, her children need? What are her weaknesses as a parent? And can she become a better parent? So Megan as a parent. Let's look at Megan's Megan's parenting skills. So the first card is for Archie, or this, it describes Archie and his needs. 
And then we'll take a card for Lilibeth. So the first card is for Archie. The card that I'm getting is the Six of Cups. So first of all, Archie needs a lot of emotional stability. He needs someone that will give him love, that will give him feelings. He doesn't get that much. He's someone, he's a child that really, really needs a feelings. He needs to be, to, to know that he's loved. And even if he is, she does love him, she probably doesn't give him much because he is really in deficit of feelings, of loving feeling. Now, this card is also a card that speaks about childhood and children. And because of that, it fits uh, what Archie needs very much. He needs to be a child. This is what this card tells us. This is a card of nostalgia. It's, uh, we can look into the, uh, into the uh, aspects of the psychological aspects of this card, but what this card really tells me is that Archie needs to be a child. He needs to go through childhood as a child, not a small adult. He doesn't need to be treated as a small adult. He's not a small adult, he's a child. He needs to have his childhood. And it looks like he's being deprived of his childhood. He does not get the loving feelings that he needs. So he's insecure with everything that connects to uh, love, love and to feelings. So this is what he really needs. So what about Lilibeth? What does Lilibeth need? And for Lilibeth, I'm getting the six of wands. So that's another six. So both sixes are, are cards, as I said, of second chances. This is, these are cards that speak about getting out of the comfort zone. And Megan needs to get out of her comfort zone in order to be a better parent to both her children. Both of them need the six. The six is the second, um, the second uh, result or the second, uh, yeah, the second result in the suits, in every suit, and in the suits of cups and six, uh, and wands, it's not a bad result. But it does show us that those children need a second chance from Megan, and she needs a second, a, a way of correcting or rectifying the errors that she has done, because this is what sixes are all about. Now, the six of a of wands speaks about victory and it looks like a little bit a, whatever that the things that she is achieving are never enough. She needs to feel victorious. It's like a child that is taking his first steps and his parents always know when his first steps were taken. And it's not possible that one parent will say that she walked at 10 months and the other will say that she walked at one and a couple of months because she doesn't really know exactly what age she is. And I'm taking into consideration that those podcasts were recorded around uh, June, July, August. So she probably was younger than six and a, and then, than a year and a half as she is today. But still, a parent that doesn't, uh, that is in, isn't able to say his child's exact what age at this age, it's it shows us that she's overlooking every every success that Lilibeth has, every every small thing that she does, every. She needs to feel the victory. She needs to the, the 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 good feedback. She needs to have that feedback that you are enough, you are good, you are succeeding. This is what Lilibeth needs. She needs to hear from her mother that her mother appreciates her achievements. That was the word that I was looking for. Achievements. Every child has achievements. It, as smaller as he is, the smaller the achievements. But 
if she won't get uh, the pat on, on the back or the victorious feeling on her small achievements, then she will always be a person that is looking for some kind of good feedback from the from the from the um, from the surrounding from from uh, around her so she will always feel the need to show that she is better than others she will always feel the need to to be a perfect child a perfect person this is a card this is a card that shows that if she doesn't get those wins now she doesn't get the feeling that she is enough that she is success, succeeding in uh, getting her mother's appreciation now she will she will spend her life trying to get that from not from only from her mother but from everyone this is a person that can either be a narcissist or can be very much a, a battered wife because she will never feel that she's enough that what she's doing is good enough so i don't know what megan thinks about the way that she's parenting her children but she's not giving them what they need okay so what is megan's relationship with archie and we're getting the it's that is that is interesting because we're getting the ace of cups so this shows me that Megan is completely oblivious to the fact that she's not showing her Archie uh, uh, loving feelings. She believes that she is giving him the whole, the whole love package. She is uh, trying to, uh, trying to, in a way, teach him that uh, he needs to be uh, to have this freedom or maybe that she needs the freedom uh, and she's trying to say that uh, she he, that she's teaching him to des that he deserves freedom that he deserves abundance uh, but this card shows us how far away she is from his needs because she's she doesn't realize that she's she, that he's yearning for more feelings for more love and she feels that she is so loving and so this is a, a big discrepancy between what she is giving him and what uh, and what he is feeling from her so she feels that she is teaching him freedom, that she's teaching him to accept abundance and that she is full of love towards him, that she is showing him so much love. So this is how she sees that relationship. So how is her relationship with Lilibeth? And we're seeing the magician. And this is really curious because the magician is the creator. He's the one who can create from nothing. He's also someone who's very eccentric. He's also someone who is uh, who loves to perform in front of an audience. But he's really someone who can create. And for Elizabeth, we got the Six of Wands, which is also the suit of creativity, of fire, of being able to create from nothing. This is the Ace of Wands speaks about being able to create. And Megan really believes that she is teaching or showing a little bit how to be a creative person and when she said that she wouldn't uh, wouldn't uh, object for her children to go to a show business that she meant it because the magician is someone who loves to perform so she really is trying to uh, put it in in a little bit uh, a soul that she is someone who will be a performer someone who is able to create someone who is very skilled and is able to manifest so this is how she feels that she's encouraging a, a little bit needs for victories so she's she feels that she is letting a little bit 
realize that she can be the magician. Once again, this is how she feels that she is parenting them. It doesn't mean that this is what they, she is really doing because their needs are still here. And if they still need that, it means that they don't get that. But she feels that she's giving each child, each child what he needs, which comes to show that she understands their needs. She knows what they need. She realizes what they need. So she feels that she is uh, answering their needs. Okay, And that is why those are very different cards. Okay, next card is what are her weaknesses as a parent. And what I'm getting here is the Knight of Cups. So she has this fantasy, or a fantasy that she always had on how she will be a parent, what kind of parent she will be. And in her mind, uh, this fantasy is something that needs to become reality. But because it is still a fantasy, she's losing opportunities. She's unable to be the parent that she thought that she would be. It all is in her fantasy world. It all stays there. She's losing the opportunity to create a good relationship with her children. She's losing the opportunity to give her children what they need because she's a fantasizer, because she lives in a fantasy world. Now, it is cups, and just see how many cups are uh, coming uh, be uh, behind uh, Archie. Comes to say that Archie is really in need for mental health, uh, str uh, strengthening, let's say it that way. So this card shows that she's unable to, uh, to tell her children that they are enough because she has a fantasy in her world, in, in her mind, and she wants them to be adapted to that fantasy. Okay, next card is what does she need to improve in her parenting and what i'm getting here is the ten of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is a great card because it is a, a card of a happy family of abundance but we're look, looking at the things that she needs to improve and because we're looking at the need, things that she needs to improve we're looking at the negative aspects of this card so it shows us that she's very much over materialistic, she's afraid of loss, she's greedy, and she's worried that she's, or she's, she's worried that she won't get the money that she wants. So her main weaknesses, or her, let's say what she needs to improve, is to stop being so greedy, to stop raising her children with the constant feeling that they might lose. And this is something that I have a feeling that she is inserting into her children from a very young age, the fear of loss, the fear of not succeeding. And this is why both of them need so much. Uh, but she really inserts in them the over-materialism she is raising them to be very materialistic, people, ch children that get everything that they want, but nothing that they need. So uh, this card is showing us how different her, uh, her um, fantasy is from reality. Because in a way, this card is going towards this. Her fantasy is this happy family this happy family in their Montecito mansion with all of those pentacles that are waiting in their bank account. But it's, because, but it's negative, and because it's negative, it shows how, how hard it is for her to just imagine that she might lose this picture. And because she's afraid of losing this picture, she really is just conserving it in her imagination, but she doesn't see that the reality is not so, is not conforming to her imagination. Okay, 
Next card is um, can she? Can she uh, improve? Or let's say, what is the outcome? Is it something that she's able to do? And the answer is yes. So if she takes it into consideration, she's able to be a better parent. Three of Wands is a card of cooperation and recognition. This is a card of someone who is succeeding to in the first success at the suit of wands. It's a card that shows us a person that is able to go to the next stage. She's able to be better. But for that, she needs the cooperation of her husband. She needs the cooperation of others. She needs to ask for the right kind of help. This is what the three of wands is. It's about getting that a certification of a good parent, getting that, a, a, that a, a ability to move forward in her parenting, but in order to really be that, she needs to ask for the right kind of help. She needs to let others uh, cooperate with her. She needs to allow Harry, for example, to, uh, to give what he can give to his children. She cannot control uh, their upbringing in every step of the way. Uh, she needs that cooperation. This is what this card means. Without this cooperation, she won't be able to, to fulfill this uh, potential that she does have. The potential is there. And, uh, but she needs to start doing things differently in order to uh, fulfill that potential. So she can become a better parent, but if she doesn't ask for the right kind of help, if she doesn't allow Harry to cooperate or others to cooperate in that uh, parenting uh, skills, uh, then she won't be able to uh, change things. So this is the tarot and the oracle, as I told you, is the seasons of the witch, the Yule oracle. And I'm going to ask for a card for those children, maybe one for Archie, one for Lilibet. So let's start with Archie. So first, let me just shuffle the deck because it is new. So. need to shuffle it a little bit. So we'll start with advice for Archie on dealing with the way his mother is trying to control him and not, let it, not giving him what he needs. Okay, so clearing the deck. Okay. Advice for Archie in the way that his mother is parenting him. How can Archie call, um, how can Archie get over the obstacles his mother is putting in his way? So the card for Archie is self-care. Okay, I'll read the next, but I'll first take some cards, a card for a little bit. So I'm going to just, but you can, you can imagine what self-care means. It means that if you're not taking care of yourself, no one else will. So let's clear the deck again. And what can Lilibet do to overcome the obstacles her mother is putting in her way? How can she uh, overcome the obstacles her mother is putting in her way to become a better and a happier adult? So the card for Lilibeth is telling stories. Okay, so let's start with the self-care. If not me, then who? To tend to the wholeness, the part in which surrender thy pulse, 
for a heart that's nearer than any other. So this card, this card is actually telling Archie, you, you will have to take, to take care of that yourself. There is no one that you can build upon. There is no one that, there to help you. You will, be able, you will need to take care of those things by yourself. And maybe when you're older, uh, go to, uh, to therapy in order to get over all of the damage that your mother is causing you. But he will have to take care of that himself. Lilibeth card is about telling stories, which looks like a very serene, uh, happy scene of a grandmother that is uh, reading uh, to her grandchildren. And what it says here is, what words so tender can be spoken so bravely unless they are true from the truest of words. So I'm going to check in the book what this card actually means. Okay, so what this card speaks about is that stories are just a, one things that are teaching us valuable lessons on speaking our truth and knowing where we come from. And there is power in what we say when we have pulled a, this card of telling stories, we are being guided, or Lilibeth is being guided to be mindful of the words that she sends into the world. So she will have to be very careful on what she says and how she tells her story. Uh, and this card is telling her that her way of handling what she gets from her mother right now is by trying to be a better person, someone who speaks to encourage and not to hurt, someone who is speaking about himself and others with kindness and compassion. This is a card that is telling Lilibeth that words can control more than she thinks, and a compliment can change someone's day. So. This is basically a card that is telling Lilibeth that it, it goes very well with the self-care. She, she's going to be the one to nurture herself. She will have to stand in front of the mirror and say, I'm enough, I'm enough, I'm enough, because she will not get it from her mother. And if she won't learn how to do that, then she will be in a very big deficit and she might even become a narcissist like her mother. Uh, so this card is really a warning card in a way that is warning Lilibeth that as she grows, she will have to learn and understand what, uh, what the power of the word. Okay, so this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.